Assalamualaikum dan hai semua Kembali lagi kita di NGT ha, Hari ni Zik nak pergi balik ke Jizok Sebabnya Zik nak buat benda lain ha, ha. Kali ni Zik nak buat depan dekat headlamp tu Zik akan dengan dia punya orang panggil uh, PPE Protection Field uh, PPF sorry PPF uh, Protection Field ok So ke Protection Field tu untuk protect daripada stone chip Ha, jadi Zik nak pergi ni dia cakap ada self healing So kalau macam kena stone chip ke dia self healing balik ha, Real life punya cheat kan ha. Jadi Zik nak buat kat headlamp Lepas tu lagi satu Zik nak buat dekat windscreen ha, coating lah ha, Coating windscreen ni macam sebelum ni Zik ada tunjuk macam mana nak buat coating untuk windscreen Dekat cermin semua pakai kelaku ha, Jadi yang ni Zik nak buat ha, under product Uh, produk Gizox uh, Dia lebih kurang sama dengan Apa yang kita buat dekat uh, Kereta pakai Glaco tu Tapi Gizox ni lagi uh, Brand lagi premium lah Daripada Glaco Sebabnya Dia punya ketahanan dia lagi lama Daripada Glaco punya ni lah uh, Soft 99 Sebab so, produk Soft 99 ni adalah DIY Dan juga kalau Gizox ni adalah Brand premium yang dibuat oleh Technical dia orang lah uh, Jadi Dia punya Apa-apa brand Semuanya adalah produk yang under soft 99 tapi kena buat daripada technician dia orang. Jadi produk dia lebih tinggi sikit daripada soft 99 punya yang DIY kita selalu buat tu. Okey jadi jom kita pergi ke ke Gizox dan kita jumpa kat sana. Dan dia baju baru Zik ni. Ha tengok eh. Ha nampak isteri Zik pun pakai sama, baju sama nampak tau. Oh. <laughs> Okey so, tapi tak nampak sangat. Ha nanti kita tengoklah Zik akan buat video nampak baju sikit kan. Ha jom kita jumpa di sana. Jangan lupa subscribe MG3 Hub dan tekan loceng notification kerana subscribe itu gratis guys. Dah siap dah PPF untuk headlamp Dan juga windscreen coating pun dah siap So lepas ni Zik akan tanya Mr. Jimmy uh, Dia punya proses dan juga uh, benefit lah untuk kedua-dua ni Apa yang korang perlu tahu Dan korang tengok ni 
Ah, ini baju official MGT Hub. So, korang rasa macam ni? Cantik tak? Ah, jadi kalau korang rasa cantik, korang komen kat bawah dan ini adalah official, dia akan pakai ini setiap video yang MGT Hub akan hasil. Ah, kalau contohnya hari ini esok ada video, tak boleh nak pakai nanti busuk lah je ni kan. Okey, jadi lepas ni Adik uh, akan tanyalah Mr Jimmy untuk detail-detail yang korang patut tahu. Okey, kita bersama dengan Mr Jimmy. So Mr Jimmy, can you give us the detail uh, for the process on windscreen first? Hello, hi. Uh, I'm Jimmy. Okay. Of course, the first process of doing the windscreen coating is actually to clean the car first. When we say cleaning the car, of course we are referring to washing the car. The purpose is to wash away all the hard particles which is like sand or uh, residue of 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 the boo the boo on the windscreen. This is you can do this by normal washing car. Uh, rinse more water to get rid of as much as you all the dust there as you can. The polishing process. There's two ways of doing it. First thing is by using manual hand with special applicator to actually polish up and down with two uh, two motions up down and left right. The next one is by using machine. This is the polishing part. Mm -hmm. After polishing part, we will have to clean the windscreen again using a uh, car shampoo to wash away all the polishing chemicals and the co polishing compound. Next, clean it with drying and everything done. The next one is actually cleaning the windscreen with what we call a solvent chemical. It's something like this. Okay. The purpose of this is to clean off any residue of oily chemicals that is on the surface. So after that, when the actual coating itself, when it's applied to the windscreen, the durability of the, the, the hole you get between the, chem, the, the, the coating and the windscreen, its durability is going to be much, much longer. Then after that, when all this is done, then come the actual coating process. Now, there's two chemicals here, we call it uh, one and two. Now, this chemical is activated as soon as you add them both together. As soon as you, this chemical reaction add together, and the application of the windscreen needs to be done in very, very short period of time. Cannot be more than 15 minutes, or else the chemical reaction, you'll, you'll start curing, and you can't use it anymore. So within this period of time, it has to be applied on the windscreen. After application, then you have to wait certain period of time depending on the weather, of, uh, the atmosphere, the surrounding. If the weather is too hot, of course, it's going to be faster. If it's in a control, aircon room, it's going to be a uh, 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 fixed, fixed timing. After that, wait for a certain uh, period of time. Then we'll wipe off the residue. Then, as you can see, the result is there. Okay, so Mr. Jimmy, uh, can you tell us uh, what is the benefit of using this windscreen coating? Okay, now, different process has different uh, advantages. Mm -hmm. Now, when we are uh, doing the polishing on the windscreen itself, the advantage is it, at the same time when we polish the windscreen, we are actually removing the water marks that is already on the windscreen itself. Now, these watermarks can be caused by raining, can be caused by uh, uh, negligence of the car. Uh, long time over Malaysian weather, you haven't really take care of the car, then there's a lot of windscreen. Now, how do you actually see these watermarks? Most of the time during sunlight or whatever, at a certain period, angle of the sun, you can actually see stains of water. Now, now we come to what's the advantage. The advantage of the, uh, the coating itself first, the water doesn't stick to your windscreen. For, the, for a period of plus minus estimated around one year. So within this period of time, when you're driving at a speed of estimated around 45 kilometers per hour and above, you will see the water, especially raining, the water actually goes off by itself without using the wiper. This is the advantage. Secondly, Within this period of time, when the durability of the coating is supposed to last you estimated around one year plus minus, you will not get watermarks on your windscreen. That is the advantage. But after the coating durability is gone, of course, there's still going to be chances of watermarks coming back. 
but this will be new watermarks, not the ones that was there. Okay, so that is all for windscreen coating. Next, we go to PPF. So, can tell us uh, how is the process of uh, installing the PPF? Okay, the PPF, of course, the first thing we need to do on the PPF is by cleaning, again, cleaning the, the, the car, cleaning the headlights. Then, after that, we will polish the headlights. The reason we want to polish the headlights so the PPF that we apply uh, later down the process is going to stick properly. If it's not polished properly, example, if there's defects on the, wind, the, on the, on the headlights itself, after application of the PPF, you will actually see it's still going to be there. So we will polish the headlights so it's going to be clean and bright. As you can see, the process is actually wet installation. What do we actually do? We actually spray a mixture, chemical mixture of shampoo and water, of course with a certain control ratio. We will apply that onto a clinic at the same time, then we apply that on the headlights and also the, 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 the we call it a pre-cut, of course a bigger size, pre-cut PPF onto the windscreen. Uh, and on the PPF itself, then we apply it onto the, onto the headlights. By using special techniques and trained uh, skill, slowly stretch it to the right angle of the headlights, then push the excess water out of. By, by pushing all the excess away, then we will slowly cut according to the, the shape of the headlights. So that's why our process is actually, we call it custom cut instead of pre-cut. So what is the advantage? <coughs> the advantage of the PPF is, of course, we are talking about uh, protection from stone chip. As we all know, when we are driving in Malaysia, there's a lot of sand and stones coming. Now, all this process is not because of you driving. It's all because of uh, 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 when we are following too close to the car in front of you, <coughs> Uh, sometimes when you're, especially when you're traveling uh, outstation and you're traveling at a certain speed of 110, imagine a, a, a truck in front of you going at the same speed. Now the impact that is gonna hit your headlights is not 110. Imagine the car in front of you is traveling at 110. The stone that is coming is also opposite direction. It's gonna be easily 100 km per hour. You are traveling at another 100 km per hour. The impact itself, we are talking about almost 200 km per hour on the headlights. That is the reason why you get a lot of stone chips. These stone chips, of course, the easiest way to explain and the easiest to see is actually on your headlights. But this applies on the whole body. You can see it especially on your front bumper. So what's the advantage? This one is the first shield as a protection uh, against all these stone chips. Bear in mind, the first shield is the one that sacrifices itself to protect so your actual headlights doesn't get damaged technically. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you Mr. Jimmy for explaining all thank the you. details. Jadi uh, itu saja explanation daripada Mr. Jimmy dari untuk uh, kereta Z yang dah pasang PPF dan juga windscreen. Uh, jadi Z lepas ni Z akan bagi tahu pula berapa harga yang special boleh bagi dengan menggunakan kod MG3 Hub untuk PPF di lampu dan juga buat windscreen coating. Itulah explanation daripada Mr. Jimmy untuk uh, PPF headlamp dan juga windscreen coating Z. Okay? Benda yang ditunggu-tunggukan untuk korang tahu harga dia berapa uh, ini Z nak bagi harga yang special untuk korang sebab g dah collaboration dengan MG3 Hub untuk bagi harga special untuk korang. Untuk headlamp PPF ni uh, harga normal adalah RM500 tapi dengan menggunakan MG3 Hub punya kod iaitu MG3 Hub 350 korang akan dapat harga 350 dengan diskaun sebanyak 100 setengah so korang jangan lepaskan peluang untuk dapatkan ni sebab harga dah diskaun sampai 100 setengah kira banyak lah tu mana nak dapat lagi kan jadi PPF ni kalau korang nak tanya berbaloi ke tak itu kena tepuk poket korang tanya wallet dah fikirlah sendiri tak ada lah je gurau je ok jadi kita ada next adalah windscreen coating. Ah uh, windscreen coating ni dia uh, cakap memang berbaloi sebab orang boleh benda ni tahan sampai satu tahun. Ah uh, jadi harga dia adalah 100 setengah. Kalau korang pakai kod MGT Hub, 
Ah korang akan dapat dia harga RM100 nak pakai kod adalah MG3 Hub 100. Ah jadi korang ingat yang kedua ni kita ada dua kod iaitu satu MG3 Hub 350 dan juga MG3 Hub 100. Ah buahnya ada bulan lama sebab promosi adalah hanya sehingga 30 hari bulan September. Ah okey jadi itu sajalah daripada link untuk video saja. Jangan lupa subscribe, share dan juga like, komen di bawah dan kita jumpa lagi. Ciao.